We shouldn't feel too bad, you know, about our shitty lives and our jobs and our miserable existence. Because even the celebrities have it tough. Somebody who's been having it tough lately has been Drake. You know, he had just signed a $400 million lifetime deal with Universal Music Group. Oh, yeah. Exclusive deal. $400 million. All your music and your catalog and your hours. Your ass is ours. We owe you now, Drake. And Drake said, for $400 million, you can own it. And he took it. And that same week, the dumbass decided to get in a beef with Kendrick Lamar, out of all people. And Kendrick Lamar destroyed his career. He's a joke now, this fucking fake. I've been saying it for years. He's been a fake. He, uh, he be, I always said this guy had ghost writers and fake. Lil Wayne writes all his raps, I used to say. Fuck it, he sounds too much like Lil Wayne. Fuck that guy, I used to say. And I knew it all along. And then they found out he was a ghost writer. And even when people found out that he had ghost writers, like two, two to three years ago, people still loved him and shit. And he still got this fucking ludicrous deal. Who fucking gets a deal for $400 million? Only Jewish motherfuckers, that's who. Anyways... Uh, it pissed me off, right? And shit. But now his career is ruined. And the people at Universal are probably shitting themselves saying, Fuck, we just gave this guy $400 million and he's gonna produce no more hits because everyone thinks he's a loser now. Uh, and if you think I'm exaggerating, there was a Limp Biscuit concert in Drake's hometown of Toronto, Ontario, over there in the Canada, where he's from and shit. Because he's not from the hood and he's not black either. He's white and Jewish. In his hometown, out of all places. And uh, he decided to go to watch Limp Biscuit. And because you're Drake and you have $400 million, you don't have to sit with the audience. You can be backstage. Well, this is how much people love Drake nowadays. Did you know Drake's here tonight? I thought Drake was your homie. Since Drake's here, he's over here on the side. I'm gonna do this one for him. It's dedicated to you. He was going to introduce Drake and bring him out to the crowd. Drake is there saying, like, telling him, like, no, no, I'm not going out there. So he decided not to go out there. Look, number one, a Limp Biscuit concert is the worst place to say Drake is here. That's two completely different fucking audiences. 100%. One, now, if you want to say Little Wayne, that's different because Little Wayne's kind of alternative. Yeah, I think as some some of those people would have been excited. You know, Drake is not somebody something that people at a Limp Biscuit concert are going to be excited about. It's not. So that was stupid already. This dumbass showing up and, and, and trying to come out and shit. Little motherfucker, that's it. You're done. Your own city where you're from just booed you and prevented you from coming out and further embarrassing yourself in front of him. He's done, man. You might as well just give those $400 million back because those rich Jewish motherfuckers who gave you that money are going to be pissed when you don't deliver your number one hit singles anymore. And you're not. You're done. No one likes you anymore. We know. He's not like us. He's not like us. Oh, uh, yeah. Cheers, Kendrick Lamar. Drake, you fucking pedophile. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.